Ayan, and we are live. Uh, magandang gabi po. Magandang hapon po pala sa inyong lahat. Um, this is your Mathematics Majorship Caltech Drills. Dito lamang po sa sa Gurong Pinoy. Once again, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat, sa mga members ng ating Team Pavlov at sa mga lahat sa lahat po ng nanunood. Uh, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Pati po sa ating Team YouTube, pati sa ating uh, Team Replay at most especially sa ating... Um, Uh, SPLE na kukuha rin ng licensure examination for professional teachers by June of 2024. Isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And this is your Coach Toto once again. And uh, uh, it is a privilege to be of service to all of you. And this is my first time doing this for Team Paglob. And uh, I'm so uh, glad to be doing this uh, for all of you. I know na um, um, Coach Kim and Coach Kevin already is doing a good job in 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 mathematics majorship, and my point here is to cement your learnings and also to impart to you some um, Caltech drills na I used uh, when I took the licensure examination for uh, professional teachers. Um, si Coach Kevin is also one of my coaches and. He did a good job in in preparing me for the licensure examination, and this is uh, to supplement all of your learnings all throughout um, your review um, season. Um, ilang araw na lang po. You only have eight days left, and I believe we're going to get into the mathematics majors and susunod na um, top notcher sa ating licensure examination for professional teachers. And before we start, um, disclaimer lamang po. All contents and intellectual properties belong to the rightful owners. Now, copyright infringement is intended, and this is for educational purposes only. And before we start, um, uh, sa ating mga makukulit na mga mat majors dyan, pa shout out naman po. Ah, isa shout out natin kung saan uh, kayo nanunood sa hapon na ito, sa araw na ito. Pakilagay ng pangalan. Ang susunod ay LTT at um, kung saan kayo nanunood sa hapon ito. Good evening. Okay, TLA major naman po. May nag-disagree na, na. Pero um, lahat kayo dito sa Guru Pinoy, you have equal chances of, of uh, being the top notcher. Ayan, dahil dito sa Guru Pinoy, uh, nakita nyo naman kung gaano ka-intensive at extensive ang ating uh, review. Uh, simula pa noong the first day that uh, the, the review um, commenced at um, hanggang sa last day before the licensure examination. Ayan, good evening, good, good afternoon to Sir Hazel Galas Lampitok, watching all the way from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Good afternoon then, Ma Marni Gutang, LPT, watching from Bacolod. Ma Marjie Ikina, LPT, watching from Bulacan. Ma Lia Abubo, watching from Baguio City. Ma Claudette V. Murillo, LPT. Um, Ma Bernadette Darapisa, from Umingan, Pangasinan. Um, Ma Estrella. Um, Galapon, watching from Tarlac. Magandang hapon po. Ma'am Dayan, Arante, Tagumata, LPT. Um, Facebook user, watching from Sendangan, Sambuanga del Norte. Ayan, uh, thank you, Ma'am Claudette. Um, uh, Junilin Veloso, LPT, manifesting. Pagong Elna, LPT, watching from Leyte. Kaya ayan, well represented tayo lahat dito from all the provinces in the Philippines. Pati na rin po um, sa mga um, um, Middle Eastern countries, pati na rin sa Singapore. So, good evening. Eh, um, good evening sa inyong lahat. At um, this live broadcast, um, your Caltech Reels is, all, of course, brought to you by Guru Pinoy, your number one uh, online review authority pagdating sa Latin Shore Examination for Teachers at pati na rin sa Civil Service Examination. And um, sa uh, um, tatlong taon po ng Guru Pinoy ay nakapag-produce tayo ng mga top-notchers sa uh, licensure examination for teachers, pati na rin po sa civil service examination. And yours truly is one of uh, the top-notchers in, in licensure examination, pati na rin po ang uh, last season top-notcher na si Ma'am Ma Trilby, si Coach Trilby, is also a product of Guru Pinoy. Kaya ang susunod na magiging top-notcher ay mula pa rin sa Guru Pinoy. Ayan, good evening uh, sa ating team YouTube, Ma'am Maribig Montano watching from Samar. So, uh, sa mga hindi pa pala nakakilala sa akin, I'm your coach. So, I'm uh, the top notcher for uh, the 2023 SPLE for Professional Teacher Secondary. I am a mathematics major po. I am a former Re Region 6 uh, State Colleges and Universities Athletics Association who is the champion in mathematics and general information. Before I took my engineering degree, I was uh, BA political science student from the University of the Philippines. 
the, I took up my BS Electrical Engineering from Capri State University, and I was a former editor-in-chief of the Quest, the official student publication of Capri State University. I took my professional teaching certificate from the University of the Philippines Open University and my mathematics, which is um, ongoing from the National Teachers College. And um, at present, and dito po ako, kasama ninyo sa Pilipinas, matamad. Um, Glad to be back home. Ayan. So, simulan na po natin. Uh, just like the usual, I'm inviting everyone to please join me in silence and in prayer uh, as we ask for guidance para maging fruitful and productive ang ating uh, study sessions sa ngayong gabi. Okay. Dear Lord, I come to ask you for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. Again, so magandang gabi po. Ha, magandang hapon nga po pala ulit sa lahat. Parang um, hindi pa ako nasasanay na um, hindi gabi dito sa Pilipinas ngayon and I am doing the lecture. So pasensya na po at medyo puyat din po si Coach Toto dahil uh, kagagaling lamang natin sa ilang gabing puyatan um, para po sa ating live. Good ma'am Alice, good evening. Watching from Oman. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. Ma'am Mylon Francisco, Ma'am uh, Rad, Sir Raden Valenzuela, Ma'am Jean Alminiana Iskurel, good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. Okay, so before that, uh, I hope na uh, na-inform na kayo ng uh, inyong uh, mat ni, ni Coach Kim and ni Coach Kevin ng recommended calculator, which is the Casio FX570 ES+. Plus. At ito rin po ang gagamitin kong simulator sa ating um, tatlong sessions. Uh, this is the first of the series of, of Caltech drills para po sa mga mathematics major natin. So, um, sana po sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-secure uh, ng Casio FX570 ES+, Plus, uh, maghanap na po kasi this would be the... the uh, the Caltech, uh, the calculator of choice <laughs> ng mga coaches sa Gurong Pinoy. Ayan. So, and first things first, before uh, um, everything, and uh, sa inyo din po, uh, before you um, start computing for your um, mathematics majorship, i-reset po muna ang inyong calculator. And how do we do that? Um, and ito po, um, we will reset it by um, pressing shift and then mode 1, and then shift, that's 9, and then you press 3, and then press equal, and then all clear. I hope nasabayan po ninyo ako. Um, nasabayan bago po gamitin ang calculator sa araw ng licensure examination, i-reset po muna. Again, press shift, then 9, then 3, and then equals, and then all clear. Ayan, nakapag-reset na po ba ng lahat ng calculator? Pag um, thumbs up naman dyan kung na-reset na ang inyong mga calculators. Ayan, siguraduhin na ka-reset para po ma-clear ang lahat ng mga stored values and settings um, na ginamit ninyo while you, you were reviewing. Ayan. So, let's proceed. Let's start our um, Caltech Drill session. Um, sa ating, uh, siya nga po pala, um, this Caltech um, Drill session will be, uh, we will be starting with the, the easier ones kasi po meron kayo mga kasama dito uh, na ngayon lang po uh, sa mga Team Pablo members na simula noong, uh, nagsimula ang ating session ng, I mean, review ay may mga kasama po kayo na um, lately lang po nag-enroll yung mga nag-avail ng, ng um, um, classified files or yung final coaching, pati na po ang SPLE. So please bear with us kasi po um, we will start this with the easier ones at baka mabore ang iba sa inyo because I know Coach Kevin and Coach Kim already did a good job in preparing you in, in introducing to you the calculator uh, techniques. So pero magsisimula po tayo para po lahat po sama-sama ang lahat na papasa. Okay, I hope that's uh, do, um, okay for everyone. Okay, so let's start with our item number one. Ayan. So solve for the value of the cube root of negative 8. Is it A, 2, B, 2i, C, negative 2, or D, negative 2i? What's your answer? Please type in the number of the question and the letter of your choice in the comment box. Please keep your answers coming sa ating comment box. Ayan, what's your answer? 
Uh, sabi ni Abdul Juhiri, it's a um, negative to Facebook user C. May sumasagot ng C, may sumasagot ng D, pero maraming may sumasagot ng letter C. Ayan, ang mga Team Pavlov ay nakikilala na. Ayan, that's negative to. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, simple lamang po. Simple lamang po yan. Uh, kung hindi pa po kayo familiar sa mga uh, may kilala po ako na nag-join kahapon lang, kaya ganito po yan. Kapag um, hahanapin mo yung cube root ng negative 8, press shift. Dito po, cube root. That's cube root. And then, enter. And the point sign na gagamitin, ito, negative. Tinan po ang full circle sa screen. That's negative 8. And just press equals. And that's negative 2. And of course, the correct uh, answer is negative 2. That's letter C. Very good. Isang magandang panimula po sa lahat. Sir Lee Grisan Barzana Aya. Good evening. Uh, Facebook friends. Ayan. Ayan. So, may bonus item tayo after that. Solve for the value of the square root 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 of 55,555. Is it A, 1.91? B, 2.19, C, 1.19, or letter B, 2.91. What's your answer? Again, um, Sir Joni Arnuko, magandang gabi din po sa inyo. Um, solve for the value of the square root 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 of 55,555. Ayan, may sumasagot ng letter C, may 1.19. Ayan, so ano nga ba ang ating tamang sagot and how do we compute for this one? Ayan. So just um mode 1, ako na palagi nag mode 1 para po um siguro ko na natama po ang aking uh, mode. So yes po, yes po. And um meron tayong um ito, the square root of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then you key in 55,555 and then just press equals and that's 1.18614. And rounding off, you will you will get 1.19 and that's letter C. Ayan, panimula pa lang po ito. Panimula, sana po familiar na ang lahat sa functions ng inyong calculators. Now, let's proceed to item number two. Ito naman, convert 120 degrees to radians. Is it A, 2 third pi? B, 3 fifth? 3 over 5 pi radians, C, 7 over 9 pi radians, or letter D, 5 over 6 pi radian. What's your answer? Again, convert 120 degrees to radians. Is it A, 2 over 3 pi radians, B, 3 over 5 pi radians, C, 7 over 9 pi radians, or letter D, 5 over 6 pi, uh, pi radian. Ayan, maraming ganitong lumalabas sa inyong licensure examination, sa inyong mathematics, majorship conversion lang. Um, kasi kung uh, hindi ka marunong ng Caltech dito, medyo mahaba-haba pa ito. I-multiply mo pa ito sa um, um, conversion factors na. Ayan, we will not be discussing um, 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 manual calculations here, but we will be using your calculators to solve for this item. So how do we do that? Ayan po. Ang lahat na po ito ng uh, nakikita rin nyo ngayon ay will be will be provided uh, to you. Kaya po kanina sa nag-message po sa akin na pakidahan-dahan lang. It's okay po kasi nakalista po ang mga, chef, ang mga steps on how to uh, solve for this item. So ayan. So ilabas natin ang ating simulator. And then ayan. Um, that's shift mode 4. Kailangan po nasa radians ka kasi ang hinahanap sa'yo ay radians. Kailangan maintindihin, maintindihan ng calculator mo na you are trying to convert into radians. And then key in 120, 120, and then papano mo lalagyan ng degrees, you just press shift, and then yung, ans yung answer sa baba, kasi sa taas na pa nag ka, that's degrees, radians, and radians, and then piliin mo yung, um, piliin mo yung degrees, dahil uh, this is 120 degrees, so that's 1. And then press equals, and then you will get 2 third pi radians. So the correct answer is indeed, Letter A. Ayan, kapag nagko-convert ka nito, in steps lang, imumultiply mo lang ang 120 um, sa pi over 1, 180. At kung babalik ta rin mo naman, radians to degrees, ay babalik ta rin mo 180 over pi. Ganyan lang po kadali, ganyan lang po kadali. Pero mas uh, mapapabilis pag marunong ka ng calculator technique dito. Okay, so we have bo bo bonus items here. Ayan po, letter A nga po ang correct answer. Sa mga nakakuha ng correct answer, Ayan, 
Very good, very good. Ang marunong na marunong na. Let's proceed to our bonus items. Convert the following to radians. Number one, 50 degrees. Ano ba ang 50 degrees sa um, radians? Again, mag-convert po. Let's um, shift mode for, kailangan maintindihan na, na gusto natin mag-convert sa radian, key in your 50 and then shift, answer, and then 1, and then press equals, that's 518 pi radians. Very good. Very good po. A Facebook user, very good. Christine May Domanda, very good. Abdel Juhuri, very good. Facebook user, very good. Ayan, let's proceed to item number 2, 210 degrees. Pakig Convert po into radians and 210. 210, please convert into radians. Marami pong ganito sa licensure, examination sa majorship po ninyo, conversion lang. Ayan. So, ang sabi ni Facebook user, 7 over 6 pi. Ang sabi ni Sir Abdel Juhuri is 7 over 6 pi. Ma'am Adena Dale, 7 over 16 pi. Um, bonus 2, sabi ni, ni Sir Sergi Eliseo, Sir Doc Kives, um, 7 over medyo... Hindi ko na makita. Sir Joshua Gagala, 7 pi over 6. So let's convert. Um, 210. Shift. Nakasa mode 4 na tayo. And then 1. Then we press that 7 over 6 pi radians. Tama po. And the last item sa ating bonus items, please convert 75 degrees into radians. Number 3, please convert 75 degrees into radians. Ayan, ang sabi naman, Kristen May Dumanda, it's 5 over 12 pi radians. So, regal, regalado nix, 5 over 3 pi radians. Ayan, Ma'am Thea Karaan, 5 over 12 pi radians. So, let's see if that's correct. So, 75, shift, ends, and then 1, and then equals, that's 5 over 12 pi radians. Ayan, medyo maram... Ang um, karamihan sa inyo ay marunong na talagang mag-convert. At uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakakasabay, um, just um, relax kasi po um, you can uh, watch this um, session over and over again kasi po nakasave naman ito sa inyong exclusive group. And then you will have, you will be provided with a PDF copy of, of this presentation including the steps on how to convert. Pwede po niyong balik-balikan yon in your free time para po um, masanay po kayo. Okay, so let's proceed. So our next item, our next item, balik tayo naman natin, convert 2 pi over 5 radians to degrees. Is it A, 75, B, 81, C, 57, or D, 72? What's your answer? Number 3, convert 2 pi over 5 radians to degrees. Is it A, 75, B, 81, C, 57, or letter D, 72? Please key in your answer. And sabi ni Ma'am Manolin Alib Alibin, that's letter D. Facebook user, that's 72. Uh, Ma'am Stephanie Ancorpos Abat, 72. Ma'am Jennifer Duque, 72. Dun, letter D. Ma'am Elna Blanker Pagong, 72 rin. And sabi ni Ma'am XA Pangan, 72. How do you convert it? Ayan. Uh, ngayon po, na kabaligtaran anong, ng previous item, you are converting from radians to degrees. Ngayon, ang kailangan maintindihan ng inyong calculator is that you are trying to convert to degrees. So, ang shift, uh, let's do shift. And then, mode yung kanina po, 4. Now, we are uh, inputting 3 because 3 is your degrees. Kaya, ayan, nasa degrees na po ang inyong calculator. And then, you input um, the value. Ito po ang gagamitin na kapag fraction sa mga hindi pa po uh, marunong. Uh, ito po na, ang nasa cursor ko tingnan ninyo. This one. And then, you type 2. Ang pi ay andito sa extend shift. Pi. At po, po. Sana po nakikita ninyo. Um, over 5. And then ilabas po ninyo yung uh, cursor. Ilabas dun sa labas. And then shift, ands. And then ngayon, uh, you are converting radians to degrees. Kaya kailangan 2 na ngayon. 2. That's 2 pi over 5 radian. Okay po. Para hindi yata tayo nakikita if wala tayo sa loob ng Zoom. Okay, so andyan po, 2 pi over 5 radians. And then you press equals, that's indeed 72. Sana po nakuha ninyo lahat. Sana po ay nakuha ninyo kung paano mag-convert from radians to degrees and um, degrees to radians as well. Good evening po, Ma'am Elna Blanker. Pag 
Sir Roy Abad, that's correct. Congratulations sa lahat na nakakuha ng tamang sagot. At sa mga hindi pa naman medyo um, uh, Ma'am Diane Orante Tagumada, I'm Coach Toto po. Ayan. <laughs> But it's okay. Ayan. So, sana po, malinaw na po ito sa lahat. Ayan, malinaw na. So, let's proceed to the next item. Ito, may bonus ulit. Convert the following from radians to degrees para masanay po ang lahat. Number one, the pi over 3. Radians into degrees. What's your answer? Number one, pi over 3 radians to degrees. What's your answer? Ayan. Sabi ni Facebook user 60, Mang Christine May Dumanda is also 60, Facebook user 60 ren. Ayan, Sir Abda is 60. So, let's check if um 60 nga po. Ayan, nasabi natin kanina, uh, simulan ulit natin. Shift that's mode. Kailangan po nasa degrees tayo. That's so that's 3. So, nasa degrees na tayo, let's input pi shift pi over 3. Tapos, kailangan ilabas mo, kailangan malaman ng calculators na in rate ng calculator, nasa radians ito. So, that's shift, answer, and that's 2. Ayan, so meron tayong pi over 3 radians. And then just press equals, and that's indeed 60. Very good, very good. Nakakasabay ang lahat. Nakakasabay. Sana po ay um, sumasabay po kayo uh, while um, I am uh, also using the calculator po para, para masanay po kayo. Ayan. So, now, uh, let's convert item number 2 from radians to degrees. That's 3 pi over 7 radians convert into degrees. So, what's your answer? I am bonus 2. Ang sabi ni Sir Sergi. Ang sabi ni Sir Sergi ay uh, may, may nag-chat. May, may nag-chat. That's uh, 77.14 or 540 over 7. Ayan. So, that's 77.14. So, let's buka natin. Ngayon, nasa radians na tayo. That's shift mode. Um, 3, kailangan maintindihan ng calculator na nasa, nasa um, radians, ta, na, na degrees tayo papunta. So that's um, 3, shift, pi, oops, 3, that's 3, nasa na ba tayo? 3, shift, pi, over 7, over 7, ilabas ulit ang cursor, and Let's input the radian, and then that's 2, and that's equal to 540 over 7. So, sumuhol kayo ng 540 over 7. Pag wala po ito sa choices, ay pindutin lamang po ang SD. SD po, SD. Ayan. That will give you 77.14. Ayan. So, sana marunong na ang lahat. And lastly, let's go to bonus item number 3. Convert 3 pi over 4 radians into degrees. Sa paano po? So let's try converting item num bonus item number three from radians to degrees. Ayan. Ang um, sabi ni Ma'am um, ni Ma'am Adina Dale, that's 135. Facebook user 135. Uh, Ma'am Diane, uh, 135. Um, ayan. So Ma'am Stephanie and Corpus Abbot, that's 135. So let's solve. So shift mode three. So fraction, that's three shift pi over 4 and then ilabas ang cursor and input the symbol for radians and then that's 2 so that's 135 indeed so ayan ang gagaling na ng taong bayan gumamit ng calculator sa conversion okay so let's proceed to our next item our next item our next item convert 215,477 square meters to acres is it a 55.3, is it B, 54.7, C, 51.5, or letter D, 53.2? Number three, convert 215,477 square meters to acres. Is it A, 55.3, B, 54.7, C, 51.5, and letter D, 53.2? What's your answer to item number three? Ayan, sulat po ng inyong sagot. Paano po ibalik? Uh, paano po ibalik ang normal? Hindi ko na maibalik. Ayan. Uh, Ma'am Erin Gale, ayan po, kung ibabalik mo, that shift mode, ayan lang, oh, uh, 3, nasa degrees ka na ulit. Nasa degrees ka na ulit. And then, mode 1, kung gusto nyo ibalik, ayan, mode 1 lang ulit, ayan. Ganyan lang po. 
Ayan, mode 1. Mode 1 lang. Thank you. Thank you for that. Actually po, uh, sa number 3, ang sagot ng taong bayan ay letter D. That's 53.24, 53.2. Sa mga hindi pa po familiar, sa likod po ng inyong calculators ay may mga pa kung ng ng FX570 ES Plus ay may mga conversion dyan. Ayan. Kung nakikita ninyo, hindi nyo nakikita. Ayan. Sa likod po, sa takip ng inyong mga calculator, sumagdasal na ang proctor ay hindi itanggalin sa inyo ang mga ang mga takip ng inyong calculators kasi po um, some of the items ay napakadali pag nasa inyo ang takip ng inyong calculators. Hindi na ninyo kailangan mag-memorize ng mga values dito sa calculators. Okay. Kusa dito po 'yan. Andito po ang inyong mga uh, conversion, mga conversion. Your um zero po uh, yung yung meter square to acres ay hindi ko makita kasi wala akong salamin. O nga, kasi that's um actually um 12. So paano po mag mag-convert? Ayun, magpag nag-convert kayo, mode 1 lang 'yan, ang mode 1 ulit. Ayun. That shift 8 and input niyo yung 12, ang 12 that's um, square meters to acres. Takip ng calculator. Um, yung Depende po sa proctor, Ma'am Abigail. Uh, yung iba po kasing uh, proctor ay hindi naman po uh, mga uh, mathematics major or mga engineers. Kaya hindi nila alam na, huwag yung sabihin sa iba ha, na sinabi ko, na andito po sa takip ng calculator ay may mga values na magagamit natin in solving some items in uh, some questions in the licensure examination. Kaya po magdasal na huwag ipatanggap uh, patanggal ang takip. Ayan. So, ayan pag uh, nakapag-input na kayo ng shift 8 and then 12 and then i-move ninyo ang inyong cursor dito sa beginning, uh, i-input mo ang value na 215 477 and then just press equals and it will give you 53.24 and the correct answer is letter D letter D nga po ay hindi pa alam mga Adina Dale ayan andyan po andyan po sa, sa takip ng inyong mga calculators ang ang ibang panalba ang ibang pangsalba po ayan Ang ibang panalba, andyan po sa takip ng inyong calculators. Ayan, letter D nga po ang tamang sagot sa ating item number 3. So, let's proceed to the next item. Ayan, uh, which is also a bonus item. And it is asking us to convert 312 miles to kilometers. A, 512. B, 505. C, 497. Or letter D, 502. What's your answer? Please keep your answers coming sa ating comment box. Ayan, bonus item, convert 312 miles to kilometers. Is it A, 512, B, 505, C, 497, or letter D, 502? What's your answer? Ang sabi ng Stephanie, and Corpus, that's 502. Sir Abdel Juhir, um, um, D. Ren, Ma'am XA Pangan, that's A. Ma'am Elna, that's 502. Sir Abdel Juhiri, it's um, letter D also. Ma'am Adina Dale, that's 502. Ayan, ulit, uulitin ko. Andito po sa takip ng inyong mga calculators ang conversion. Ng conversion. Kaya ipagdasal na huwag tanggalin ang inyong mga takip ng calculators. Just act um, na normal lang. Pero magdasal ka, actually nagdadasal ako noon. Huwag sanang ipatanggal ang takip. Okay. So, how do you solve that using our... Um, <laughs> wala po ba conversion sa transparent? Ito po kasi sa itim, dito sa itim, ay andito po yung mga conversion ng Arlene Jackson. Andito po. Kaya nga po, uh, ito ang nararecommend namin kasi andito po yun. Ayan. Isa-isahin para sure. Ayan. So, ay, <laughs> ayan. Hanggang 40 po yan, ma'am. Medyo mahaba-haba po ang, ang conversion ang lalabas po. Kasi lalabas niyan. So, how do we do that? Andito lang po ang steps. Ayan. Ayan. That shift. Again, shift 8, tapos 07 naman po when you're converting mile to kilometer. 07, lalabas ka agad dyan na mile to kilometer. Uh, ipopost po, ma'am, uh, Sir Mark Ryan Tumel Den Manangan, ipopost po ito sa ating exclusive group. Ayan. So, and then, pag lumabas na yung mile to kilometer, i-move ang cursor sa umpisa, dito sa, uh, before the mile, and then you just input the number, that's 312. Ayan, 312 mile to kilometer and just press equals and it will give you 502.11. So the correct answer is letter 
Ti yes po, Sir Mark Ryan Tumel din uh, uh, at isa sa mga uh, kaguro natin na na working while uh, reviewing. Ayan. Uh, Sir Roy Abad, that's um, 502.11 po. Ayan. Ulitin lamang po ang, ang steps. And then po, shift 8 plus 07. This is mile to kilometer. And then input 312 mile to kilometer. And then press equals. And that's letter D. It's 502. That's the correct answer. Ayan. So, Congratulations po sa lahat na nakakuha ng tamang sagot at sa mga hindi naman po nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Ngayon alam nyo na kung paano mag-convert at alam nyo na rin na may hiwaga ang takip ng mga calculators. Ayan, good evening Sir Wilmer Galvan. Ma'am Anali Madraga, that's correct. It's 502.11. Ayan, so let's proceed to our next item. Yata na. What is the remainder when 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 25 is divided by x plus 3? Is it A, 73, B, negative 73, C, 4, or letter, letter D, negative 4? What's your answer? Again, item number 4. What is the remainder when 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 25 is divided by x plus 3? Is it A, 73, B, negative 73, C, 4, or letter D, negative 4. Ayan, Ma'am Chelly Abel Garcia, Kabiles, shout out from Qatar. Watching from Qatar. Ayan. So, <laughs> that's so nanduling po. Sabi ni Sir, it's okay po, it's okay. So, maraming sumasagot ng letter C. May sumasagot din ng, ng letter A. Ano nga ba ang ating tamang sagot? How do we do this? Ayan. So, medyo magaling na ang team pal love sa calculator techniques. This is... um. Um, the remainder uh, remainder theorem. Ayan. Kapag nag-i-input po kayo ng value dito, it, this is uh, mode 1. Mode 1 pa ito, that's computation. So, mode 1. Sa mga hindi pa po medyo marunong sa calculator, that's mode 1. And then, kaya input mo yung equation, and that's 2. Um, Sir Hazel, alam ko nanonood ka. Ito po yung pag input ng x. Alpha x. Ayan po ang x. Alpha x. And then itaas. And the power, ito po, ang x. Tapos may my square, yan pa ang power, and you type in 3. And then ibaba po ulit ang cursor para po hindi doon sumama sa power, ang susunod mong type And then that's plus 3 alpha x squared. And then hindi mo na kaya ibaba dyan. Then minus 2 alpha x plus 25. Ayan. So, um, you will use calc here. Calc. This is calc. You will ask the calculator to calculate it for you. That's calc. And then, kailangan mong mag-input ng value ng x kasi humihingi, o pumindot ka ng calc, hihingi ang calculator ng value ng x. So, anong value ng x ang ibibigay mo? That's negative 3 kasi kailangan mo itong i-convert in, in, um, dito pa. Ito po. Kasi po, ito ay, uh, dahil ito po ay x plus 3 kanina, x plus 3, Ganyan po yan. Ganyan po yan. Kaya so kailangan ilipat mo muna yung x sa kabila. That will be negative 3. So negative 3 po ang inyong i-input na value ng x. Ayan. So negative 3. Ayan. Ibigay mo ang value ng x. Negative 3 po yan. And then just press equals. And you will have 4. That's letter C. Letter C po. Tama po, marami po nakakuha ng tamang sagot. At sa mga hindi po sumasabay, sa mga medyo nahihiyang sumabay, sumabay po while well, we are doing the calcul uh, calculation using your calculator para po matuto as early as now. Ayan, matuto na kayo as early as now. Ang Team Pavlov, may tiwala ako dito. Alam ko, um, Coach Kevin is also one of my coaches when I took the licensure examination, kaya alam kong um, nahasa na kayo. Ayan. So, Let's proceed to the, uh, ang tamang sagot po dito ay indeed letter C. Uh, that's 4. Ayan. So, let's proceed to our item number 5. Which of the following is a possible root of the polynomial x to the 4 plus 5x cubed plus 5x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0? Is it A, 3, B, 0, C, negative 2, or letter D, 4? What's your answer? Yes, ma'am, Adena Dale, that's correct. If the given is x minus 3, x is equal to 3 yun. Yan, yan, yan po. Ganyan nga po. That's correct. That's correct. Again, number 5, which of the following is a possible root of the polynomial? x to the 4th plus 5x cubed 
plus 5x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Is it A, 3, B, 0, C, negative 2, or letter D, 4? What's your answer? Ang sabi ni Ma'am Pansara Amat, it's letter C. Ang sabi ni Facebook user, letter C. How about the others? Ang sabi ni Ma'am Abigail, that's letter C. Ma'am Jamaica Javier Esteban is also letter C. Ma'am Annalyn Peralta, letter C. Um, Sir Kabili Bien, it's also letter C. Ma'am Alice, it's also letter C. So how do we solve for this? Nandito po yung steps. Sa mga hindi pa po marunong, yan po ang steps. Again, siguraduhin po na ang calculator ay nasa mode 1. That's mode 1. Mode 1. And then input the equation. Ay, yung left side lang po. Yung left side lang po. Okay. Left side, we input alpha x raised to the fourth. Ibaba ang cursor. Ibaba ang cursor. Plus 5 alpha x. And then this one for the exponent. And press 3. Ibaba mo ulit. And then plus 5 alpha x squared at minus 5 alpha x and then minus 6. Ngayon, gagamit ka kasi ng calc function dito. Gagamit ka ng calc function. Um, according to remainder theorem, ang, ang number, a value is a root of the polynomial if the remainder is 0. So, tandaan po natin yan. So, let's press calc and input the choices pa isa-isa. Pag ganito ang given, pa isa-isa mong i-input ang choices. And then, when you press cut, hihingi po ang calculator ng value ng x. So dito, dito mo i-input ang mga choices. So, unahin natin ang 3. Kailangan po mas 0 ito para ito ang tamang sagot. And then, equals. Oops, nag-syntax error na. So, balik tayo. Um, wala pa lang. Ano yung minus? This, this is minus. Uh, x to the 4th plus 5x cubed plus 5x squared minus 5x minus 6. And then press cut. Kihingi siya ng value ng x. We press letter A. That's 3. So that's 240. So hindi po. Hindi po ito ang root. Kasi ang sabi natin, para maging root siya ng polynomial, kailangan ang remainder is 0. Okay? And then we press again cut. We press the second choice. Oops. Kala ko ba na uh, for a while? Parang hindi yata na ang isa kong ang monitor ng aking laptop away for a while ayan so medyo na overlook natin ito kanina Ayan, nakataksak na po. So, back to regular programming. Ayan. So, nasiro natin siya. May zero and negative six ang kanyang remainder. So, that's not correct. And so, let's input the letter C. That's negative two. Negative two. Oops, by tile. Calc, negative two. Huwag kakalimutan ang calc. Dapat mas zero. So, zero ang kanyang remainder. So, the correct answer here is letter C. That's negative 2. And just to confirm, i-input ulit natin. Uh, let's calc input uh, letter D. That's 4. So, ayan po. May remainder siyang 630. So, the correct answer is indeed letter C. That's negative 2. Negative 2. Dapat po, mas 0 po. Uh, dapat maintindihan mas 0 kasi according sa uh, remainder theorem, the uh, value is a root of a polynomial kapag ang remainder is 0. Ayan. So, let's proceed to our next item, item number 6. Ito ulit. What is the value of the polynomial 7x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x if x is equal to negative 2? Is it A, negative 30, B, negative 74, C, 30, or letter D, 74? Again, number 6, what is the value of the polynomial 7x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x if x is equal to negative 2? Is it A, negative 30, B, negative 74, C, negative C, 30, or letter D, 74? What's your answer? May sumasagot ng negative 74. Ang iba naman, letter B ang sagot. Ayan. May sumasagot din ng letter C, 30. May sumasagot din ng na D, 74. So, uh, may sumasagot. Halo-halo ang sagot ng taong bayan. So, paano ba natin ito? Iko-compute. And here are the steps. Paki-input po, pakigamit ng inyong calculators. At sundan ang steps na nakikita sa inyong screen. That's mode 1. Mode 1. 
And then, nasa mode 1 ka na. And then, input the equation. That's 7 alpha x cube. Iba pa ang cursor. Minus 2 alpha x squared. And then, plus 5x alpha x. Ayan. So, ayan na. And then, press calc. I-input mo ngayon ang value ng negative 2 kasi hindi na to x minus 2. Kasi this is already x is equal to 2. Alpha x is alpha x. Then calc. Negative 2. And press equals. That's negative 74. And indeed, letter B po ang ating sagot. Sa mga nakakuha po ng letter B, ayan. At congratulations. Ang gagaling nyo na. Sa mga hindi naman po sumagot ng letter B, um, pakisundan po ulit ang... Um, steps dito sa inyong mga uh, when you're reviewing po, ulitin po itong um, I mean, basahin po at try po isolve ang ang PDF copies na ipoprovide sa inyo ng ating um, ng GP para po masanay po kayo. Ayan. So the correct answer here is negative 74. That's letter B. Ayan. So sana po naiintindihan ang process. Oops. Uh, medyo may mga nagchat kasi sa uh, pwede po makuha-answer without using... Uh, pwede naman po. Pwede, Ma'am Carl Jen Kiambao, Bantula. Uh, sabi ko nga kanina, this, this session po is um, exclusive po sa Caltech Drills po. Pwede naman po. Um, pala dito sa Gurung Pinoy, palagi nating ini-emphasize yan for mathematics majorship na una, ang tinuturo natin is uh, um, how to solve um, questions manually. Pero po, uh, alam naman natin during the licensure exam, uh, examinations, uh, na limited po ang time sa ating mathematics majorship. Meron lamang po tayong tatlong oras and it might not be enough for you to cover uh, 120 items. Kaya apa, inaalaw naman kayo na gumamit ng calculator. Um, ng calculator. So, um, gumamitin ang calculator uh, para po sa inyong advantage. Ayan, kaya po tinuturo natin dito ang pinakamabilis na paraan sa pag-solve para po meron pa kayong uh, matime para po makapag-decode ng mga errors sa ating mathematics majorship. Kasi po ang ating mathematics majorship sometimes ay, ay, ay clerical, um, typographical errors na may konting exam. Yes po, Ma'am Carl James Kiambao, sa math majorship pa ay gumagamit po, pwede pong gumamit. Ma'am, uh, hindi ka po ba ano? Uh, <laughs> na math major, na alaw po ang, ang math majors na gumamit ng calculators sa mathematics majorship lang. Ayan, sa mathematics majorship lang po. Ayan, that's negative. Okay, so um, number six is letter B, negative 74. Ayan, correct. So let's proceed to our next item, a bonus item. Find the value of the po polynomial x to the 8th minus x to the 5th plus x squared minus x plus 1 if x is equal to if x minus 4 is equal to 0 um ma'am Erin Gale hindi po inaalaw ang ang may solar na calculator i have here also an um fx911 sometimes inaalaw pero just for you to be safe uh, just for you to be safe ay huwag kong gumamit ng calculators na may solar such as fx911 ang pinaka safe po kasi calculator na gamitin ay fx570 es plus ayan 570 es plus pa okay <laughs> okay, sana po malinaw, malinaw po sa inyo na na sometimes ang ma, depende po sa proctor actually 911 uh, 991 is allowed is allowed as per the the um, memorandum of the PRC uh, the uh, the PRC however just for you to be safe here in Gurung Pinoy we are recommending 570 ES plus for you to be on the safe side na walang uh, risk na hindi i-allow ang inyong um, 991. Okay? So, sana po malinaw po ito sa inyong lahat. Okay. So, how do we solve this? How do we solve this? Andyan po ang steps. Pakisundan lang po. Pakisundan naman po ang steps. So, that's mode 1. Huwag kakalimutan ang mode. Ang mode palagi, you have to be certain that you are in the correct mode of your calculator. And then, input the equation. And that's um, alpha x raise to the 8th, and then move your cursor down, minus 5 alpha, oops, uh, alpha x, raise to the 5th, ibaba ulit ang calculator, plus alpha x squared, and then minus x, this minus alpha x, plus 1, and then press calc, calc, 
Ito po, itong x minus 4, kailangan makonvert mo ito into x is equal to 4 para makapag-input ka ng value ng 4 kapag naghahanap ang calculator ng value ng x. So that's 4 and then press equals and that's 64,525 and that's indeed letter A. Ayan. So, ayan. Uh, alam ko, Team Pavlov, medyo some of you will find this boring kasi... Uh, uh, you were with Coach Kevin simula po sa dya, ng review. Pero meron po tayo mga kasama dito na kai-enroll lang kanina, kahapon, or nitong linggo lang na to. Kaya we are trying to ensure here that everybody um, will have uh, will, will have the, the ch good chance of, uh, good fighting chance of passing the licensure examination. Ang susunod po nito sa mga series na ito ay medyo, uh, medyo higher mathematics na. Ayan. <laughs> Sir Johnny Arnuko, um, thank you for that. Okay, so nakita pa ninyo, that's letter A. That's letter A. Ayan. So let's proceed to our next item. Our next item, solve for the equation, the square root of x squared minus square root of 5x minus 2x is equal to negative 5. Is it A, 1.91, B, 1.19, C, 1.46, or letter D, 2.13? What's your answer? Please keep your answers coming sa ating comment box. Ayan, number six. Solve for the equation, the square root of x squared minus the square root of 5x minus 2x is equal to negative 5. Is it a 1.91, b 1.19, c 1.46, or letter d 2.13? What's your answer? Mount Fire Russell, after um, okay lang po naman late. Uh, basta po balikan lamang po ang ating video sa um, na inyong exclusive groups. Ayan. The, actually, um, uh, this um, presentation ay, uh, this is a blockbuster presentation ng last uh, season kasi maraming uh, lumabas sa licensure examination na dito. Uh, actual uh, question dito sa ating Caltech drills. Ayan. So, ang sabi ng taong bayan, that's letter A. Ang sabi ni Sir, Ma'am Juris ba? Ma'am Juris me, that's letter A. Ma'am Cheryl Samson, letter A. Ma'am Alice, na letter A. Ma'am Lovely Soldano, letter A. That's letter. Maraming masagot ng letter A. Sana po sumasagot ang lahat. Para po, Ma'am Gemma Cinco, magandang hapon. That's also letter A. Yan, Sir Raymark Palaganas, it's also letter A. Dapat po, marunong kayong gumamit ng function ng, ng shift sold. Ng shift sold kasi po, maraming items sa uh, licensure examination na nasusolve sa simple shift sold function lang. Around 30 items during my season na sold sa shift sold items sa shift sold function lang. Ang mixture problems, um, age problems, um, um, fractions, ratio and proportions na gagamit ng shift sold functions. Nang katulad na gagawin, gagawin natin sa item na ito. So how will we do that? How will we do that sa mga baguhan po sa paggamit ng calculators sa ating mga recent enrollees at sa mga SPL takers, SPL takers, ganito po yun, ganito po. Um, ensure that you are in the right mode, that's mode 1, mode 1, and then input the equation, ayan. That's the square root of alpha x squared, and then ilabas ang cursor, ilabas, move your cursor, and then minus the square root of 5 alpha x square root at ilabas ulit minus 2 alpha x. Ngayon, ang pagsulat ng equals, yung equal sign, the, you just press alpha calc. This is alpha calc. Ayan, alpha calc. Alpha calc po. And then, equal to negative 5. Negative 5. Ngayon, para makuha ninyo ang value ng x, simply press shift solve. So for x equal, and that's 1.9098, or rounded off, that's 1.91. It's letter A. Sana po nakuha ninyo lahat, nakuha po ng lahat, kung paano po uh, gumamit ng shift solve function, paki um, give ng thumbs up sign kung nakuha po, para po klaruhin natin sa mga hindi pa nakuha kung paano gumamit ng shift solve uh, function, kasi po maraming item, uh, maraming item, Sa licensure examination, around 30 items during my season ay nasolve using only the shift sold function. Thank you. Thank you. Ayan. So, ayan. So, manakukuha na. Um, sanayin po ang sarili. Uh, uh, basta po, uh, marunong ka ng shift sold function. Ang kulang na lang sa iyo kapag worded problems, 
is how to write the equation. Pag naisulat mo po ang equation at tama po ang pagkakasulat mo ng equation, damputin ang calculator at gamitin. You try to compute using the shift. So alpha calc and shift solve function, marami ang masasolve. Marami ang masasolve using the shift uh, alpha calc and shift solve function. Ayan. So, ang tamang sagot nga po pala dito ay letter A. Letter A nga po. Ang tamang sagot, that's 1.2. 91. Uulitin daw. Sige, pagbibigyan po natin si Facebook user. Ayan. Ano po ang kaibahan? Ang actually, ito. Ulitin natin na. Ano, um, Ma'am, January Jessa Pagosa. Ayan. Ayan. Ano po muna tayo ha? Mode 1. Ayan. Ang alpha cut ay kinagamit po yun sa pagsulat ng equal. Ng equal. At ang shift solve naman ay paghanap ng value ng x. Hanap malinaw. So, nasa mode 1 na tayo. Nasa mode 1. Mode 1. Ayan. And then input equation. That's, uh, isulat muna natin ng equation. The square root of alpha x squared. Ilabas po ang cursor. Ilabas mo imo bang cursor uh, para lumabas ang um, cursor natin. Minus the square root of 5 alpha x. Ulitin natin. Ayan. Minus 2 alpha x. And then magsusulat na ngayon ng alpha calc. So, gagamitin mo ang um, ng equal pa ng equal sign pala. So, you will use the function alpha calc. So, that's alpha calc. Alpha calc. Ayan, nasulat na. Nakita na ninyo? Nakita nyo? <laughs> okay. Nakita na ninyo? Equal. And then, you type in negative 5, negative 5. Ngayon, hahanapin mo na ang value ng x. Hahanapin mo na ang value ng x. So, you will use shift solve. So, let's press shift solve. And that is equal to, you press equals, 1.9098. Or round it off, that's letter A, 1.91. Ayan, okay na? Okay na po. Ayan, hindi nga po mat major si Ma'am Carl Jane Kiambao. Sabi ko na nga po. Sana po nakuha na ng lahat. Malinaw na sa lahat ang paggamit ng alpha calc and shift sold function. So let's proceed to our next item. Item number 7. Item number 7, bonus pa. What is the value of 32 raised to the x plus 2 is equal to 1? Is it A, negative 2, B, 2, C, 0, or letter D, 1? Yan po, yan nga po. Thank you. You're welcome.